See, I got on a fucking poncho. Um, that's how you know this past weekend was real. Uh, it was fun though. Bought that in Mexico? Yeah, it was $20. Sexy, as hell. Yeah, I really want to go back and get and get a bunch of them. This is my new wave, by the way. But that also, sale, but, also but also I don't want to I don't want to cultural what is it? I don't want to culturally appropriate appropriate ponchos, but I, mean, I, I really got one appreciate upstairs, this shit. Like, I got this shit in Mexico. No, I'm saying I like got one upstairs. I don't wear it. Like, do you want it? I mean, are you gonna gift me with the if you yeah, if you got the poncho, poncho, you gotta like physically give me with the poncho right now. Go get the poncho. You want me to go get the poncho? I'm right dead now? ass. I'm dead ass serious. Right now. Go get the poncho, dude. This is this is the beginning of a new fashion wave. I'm finna hella go back to Rosarita, and I'm gonna buy like five more of these. But it's hoops and brews. We're back. Um, the reason why I sent him on that little errand is so that way I can kind of tell y'all what's been going on, fill you in a little bit. Um, obviously, we haven't dropped nothing new in what? In about like eight, nine days. I know it's the longest that we haven't dropped anything in a while. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, uh, usually we don't take breaks off. Uh, but actually, I had a vacation plan this weekend. So the goal was for me to, for us to like do a happy hour on Thursday. I take my vacation. I come back on Tuesday. We shoot a happy hour Tuesday so that way y'all have something fresh on Wednesday and then voila well that plan got fucked up when uh, your boy got the flu on Thursday night randomly got the flu um, still technically got the flu well no nah, not really I mean it's been a week I, I'm actually I'm good now I feel like I'm about 85% you know what I'm saying honestly it was more like an energy thing energy kind of um, but I still you know I had this vacation plan for a while um, so I still decided to go and take my weekend vacation. So, you know, I took my weekend vacation. It was nice. Had a great time. Enjoyed myself. Didn't really drink at all. You know what I mean? I, okay, I, I will admit, I had a few drinks, obviously, because I'm, I'm on vacation. Why not? I had a couple, like, uh, you know, Mexican beers. Uh, and I think I had, like, a margarita and a hot toddy, which was amazing. Uh, oh, no, no, a michelada, as well as I think I might have had a hot toddy. So, yeah, I had a few drinks. Uh... But usually, like, you know, I kind of spread it out as much as I could because I was, I was drinking Pedialyte, drinking a whole bottle of Pedialyte throughout the whole weekend. So if you see any of my photos from that weekend, I, it was, there was definitely a bottle of Pedialyte in my hands. Uh, but anyways, I had a good time, had, you know what I'm saying, came back and then obviously used up all my energy over the weekend. So had to take a couple days, recuperate, but we back. Um, yeah, man, it's hoops and brews. Pavi obviously went to go and get the poncho. Speaking of Pavi and the poncho, poncho speaking of love, poncho let's get it. Season. Let's get it. I'm poncho rocking season. it all summer. Poncho let's get it. Season. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> rocking it all summer. Have you ever seen somebody rock a poncho <coughs> on a poncho? But basically, while you was gone, I was filling the people in. Ooh, let's get it. Oh, we draped in ponchos. Um, but anyways. While he was gone, I was explaining to the people where you know what happened, why they ain't heard from us. So we back. We back. Um, so yeah, man, go ahead, get your plug in. So always, man, follow me on Twitter at Pavy World, P V Y World, all one word. Um, Pavers Volume went out right now. I'm dropping a new record in about I want to say like two weeks. Um, so look out for that. Um, www.whoispavy.com. Yeah. So first off, um, R I P Kyrie. Why? Because <laughs> his career as a Celtic is over. Kyrie, is over, Kyrie is the weakest Celtic in history. I don't think his career as a Celtic is Kyrie over. Kyrie is the weakest nah, Celtic I mean, in history. Nah, I mean, okay, okay. So why Larry Bird going? is rolling over in his office. Nah, show like, right okay, now. so okay. they, so they, Kyrie is the weakest Celtic. Nah, so what they, name what they, what they, what they lost the lead to the Hornets, but that happened when Kyrie went to the bench. They started the fourth quarter. Kyrie was on the bench. I think he was on the bench for like five minutes, and they cut the lead down to ten. And he got back in. Obviously, they lost. That like Kimball was obviously on a roll by then. They they um lost that game. The Spurs I won't lie. Game, Shout out to Kimba. Kimba's been playing very well, but you're still not gonna make the playoffs, so you're still trash. The Spurs game the next night. I think Horford didn't play. If I'm not mistaken, Horford was out. Who's pro- who's probably at times arguably their most important player. He was out, and Lamarcus had fucking fifty points. Like, I don't think that has much to do with Kyrie with Lamarcus oh, having so 50 him, points. So him having 12 and 12. I mean, he shot bad. He had 12 assists. He did have 12 assists, G. Come he on, had 12 man. assists. Come he on, had man. 12 assists. He had like two steals. On, I think man. he had a block. He did. On, he man. shot bad. Yes, he Kyrie's did shoot bad. Kyrie is the weakest Celtic in nah. history. Kyrie going to run and tuck tail to New York or run nah, and tuck I mean, tail to L.A. And guess what, Kyrie? That's what you are. You are nah. number two. Kyrie Irving is a number two. And that's all he going to ever nah, be, I honestly. Mean, and that's just cool with that. 
Kyrie's the number two, but honestly, I feel the same way about guys like Russ, too. I, I put Russ in that same tier, too. Russ is a number two to me. I mean, Russ, I think most, Russ can be a number one on his own team, but Russ can't be a number one on a winning team. I think Kyrie most, can't be a number one on a winning team. I think team. most point guards in general are better served as number twos. Even if even if one does break through and like have have a like incredible season, I think most point guards in general are best served as number Unless two. you're Stephen Curry, it just worked for Steph Unless because you're he, Curry. Oh, no, wait wait it just worked for Steph because again he shoots so well. If you can shoot fucking fifty percent from three, you can probably make it happen. But even still, over sustained courses, you see, I think KD has been the best player on the Warriors for the past what since he came there the past three years. Personally, I do. I think he's been the best player in the Warriors. Not a team built around no, Steph, but I think not. he's been the best player in the Warriors. No, for the not. past since he since he broke the, the jersey, he's been the on best a team, player on, on a team built around someone. That's else. not that true at sense. all. That's not when true at all. When have you seen that? A lot of times. What? For instance, 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 um, the Pistons. Who was the best player on those um on those um championship Pistons to you? Isaiah Thomas. No, I'm talking about the bad boy. No, no, not the um bad boy Pistons. The uh the uh fucking uh oh four Pistons. They didn't really have one. I see. I think it was they built around. Really have one. I think it was built around Ben Wallace, but I think the best player was Chauncey Billups. Also, no, Chauncey uh, Billups on. was the best player on that team. Yeah, I think it was Ben. Nah, yes, no, no. But I think it was built around Ben Wallace. I think it was built around Wallace's defense. But the best player was Chauncey Billups. Um, I also think uh, the Heat at first were built around Dwayne Wade, and then Bron and Dwayne was like, "All right, yo, you gotta search yourself." They're not a championship. They weren't a championship team. You haven't seen it done. It doesn't also, happen. Also, it doesn't happen. Also, the Lakers. I think that for the past, for obviously the first two rings, I think that oh, yeah, Shaq okay, was the best yeah, player. That's it. I think that Kobe was the best that's player. And if I went, if I that's just what I'm thinking about. Like off the top of my head, I'm sure if I went back through history, I could find other examples of when somebody else might have been the best player on no, the you team. Can't. I probably no, okay. Hold can't. on, wait. Even even like even like the um early Lakers. I think that Kareem was better than Magic at that point in time. No, Not, he wasn't. No. Once Magic Johnson stepped onto the basketball court, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was never a better. I player. disagree with that. I no, disagree with that. Not. I think now now no, he was now, not. now 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 no, he was not. now now hold on. I think that halfway through like the '80s, the the fucking switch was made when they told Magic, "Hey, you got to score more because Kareem getting older." Shit. Nah. I think the switch was Magic made. Was the better player. I disagree with that. Magic was the better. player, I disagree player, with bro. that. I don't think that from day one, Magic Johnson was the best player on the um, Lakers. I just don't. No. Yes, he was. I don't. He I disagree. Was. I'm sorry. He was. I disagree. Nah, he was. I disagree. But also, you. He you was. See, he literally came in and won a Finals MVP when the man I mean, got hurt. I mean, that don't mean you the best player on the team. He was Ooh. fucking. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. It was 90 other games before you get to that one game. Did you see that man numbers that year? It was what? What his uh rookie year? Yes. Look at Kareem's. I bet that man averaged 30 in like 12. G, come on, man. What the fuck do you mean? 30 Magic 12 don't matter? Kareem, stop this, Magic man. Didn't Magic, Kareem. Kareem. Magic, Magic, Magic didn't make Kareem. Magic didn't make Kareem. They helped each other out. Magic didn't make Kareem as a Laker. They helped each other out. Magic made Kareem They helped each other out. They helped each other out. What did, I mean, what did, he, what did he win without Magic? What? A championship ring with the Bucks? With the Bucks. He didn't do shit with the Lakers. Because who the fuck was he playing Come with? Come on, man. Stop that, man. And hold on. That's, and the, that's, wait, like, and that's wait, like the boogie wait, argument. And, Get and, out of and, here. And, 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 and wait. Actually, a couple of the two years, the first two years that I think, uh, I think the years that they didn't make the playoffs, there was a um, rule back then where I think like the conference winners, I think the top two teams from like, not the conference, the like division, actually make the playoffs. So even though they did have a winning record, they didn't make the playoffs because it wasn't like how you see it today. Huh? Say that again. So back in the first two years when Kareem didn't make the playoffs, the Lakers actually did have a winning record. I think they were like 44 and 38. But back then, I think like the division winners, the people who won the divisions got the top seeds. So they just got left out because they were like lower in their division. So moral victories are for my no, league coaches? No, no, but look, what I'm just, what I'm like trying to oh, say is it wasn't like they were a bad team. Like it's just, Come it on, wasn't, they would have, they would have made the playoffs if you uh, had it seated like you do today. Nah, from the, but, from the moment Magic Johnson stepped on the basketball court, he was the best player in Los Angeles. But going back to the Kyrie was such a thing, like I mean, which I, is why and, Kyrie is not a number one. And, and hold on, Hayward wasn't there a couple of those games. Like Hayward's been out, Baines was out. They have had some injuries. That I think the most recent game that they played in Cleveland, which they won, which they almost lost when Kyrie wasn't there, they almost lost that game. But Clarkson fucking powdered over, missing them damn free throws, and Marcus Smart hit a shot to put the game up five. But they got um they put Baines back in the starting lineup um and then even in like the Hornets game Baines was out and Robert Williams I finally been saying they should play Robert Williams they finally played him and he fucks up his back thinking he's Sean Kemp eight minutes in the goddamn game action so they had no rim protection because Daniel Tyson's not a rim protector and I don't think Horford was there that day 
So, look, they have had some injuries recently. They finally got back healthy. It looks like they'll be playing Indiana in the first round. Now, Indiana. And they get sent home. Now, look, now, look. Indiana is not a team that they can walk all over. They very well could get sent home. But they you should will still, get sent home. But, hold on. You should Wesley still Johnson be. Wesley Johnson hitting the game winner in game five. Remember I said fuck that. Out of here. Remember, fuck no, out of here. literally. Fuck remember out of here. I called this. Tom Stradamus. Fuck out of here. Remember I fucking fuck called this. Tom Stradamus. Fuck out of here. Remember I called this. Tom Stradamus. Fuck out of here. Wesley Johnson. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, Wesley not Wesley Johnson. Not Wesley Johnson. Wesley Matthews. Wesley Matthews. 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 Wesley Matthews, not Wesley Johnson. I always get them mixed up. Wesley, Why? Because West, because they both irrelevant. But they're they not. Both, Wesley they Matthews both, is not irrelevant. They both, they both, do that to they both irrelevant, but they pop up in key don't, don't, don't know, no. No, nah, Wesley, Wesley, Wesley Matthews Johnson is a quality got starter. Some shots as a Clipper that he definitely should have not been taking in any playoffs. I mean, series. yeah, but he was never a starter. Jay Wesley Matthews has been a quality starter for his t- entire career, pretty much. Okay, fine. I Wesley Johnson just... got picked third and sat on the bench. G. He got picked third and sat on the bench his entire career. And the, the most the, the most relevant thing he did was get sauced up by Harden last year in his entire basketball career. Literally, that's the one highlight he had, getting sauced up by Harden, getting dropped. That's the only highlight. It's the only thing you remember Wesley Johnson for. You remember Wesley Matthews for other things than that, bro. Come on. Don't do that to that man, G. No, do not call that man irrelevant. I would not let you do that. No. Wesley Matthews is a fucking quality starter, G. No. No. But I still think they look. I think they could be. I think the Pacers are like the perfect team for them to like get their shit together against in the playoffs. I think they'll be fine. Obviously, fucking Bill Simmons said they'll win six or seven games. That was outrageous in general. I think I said they win like fifty eight. They not gonna get to fifty eight at all. But sixty seven wins. They probably don't get to fifty. But sixty seven wins was outrageous. I think that we underestimated for one chemistry, which is a huge thing. Like. You just inserted two people who used to be in stars back into the lineup with people who were pretty much stars last year. Then everybody is also young and trying to prove themselves and trying to get paid. This is a different situation from like other teams who've been together multiple years and you add one person in, let's say with the Warriors and Boogie. You add two people in into a situation full of young guys who ain't won nothing and still trying to prove themselves and half of them trying to get paid. Like Rozier's trying to get paid. He like he has a contract coming up. He's doing his rookie deal. He wants his money. Jalen Brown is, has a contract coming up next year. Horford, I think, contract about to run out. Uh, Smart just got paid. Kyrie got a contract coming up. Kyrie going to get signed and trade. I forgot who said. Somebody on ESPN said that. So shout Sign out and trade is where? Um, somebody said that if Kyrie uh, leaves Boston, he's most likely. He's most, oh, I think if, actually I think it was Jalen Rose who said that. That if Kyrie leaves Boston, is going to most likely be on the sign and trade. To where? New York? Hmm? To where? New York? Well, I don't know. I mean, but even like if I'm... Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it was Jalen Rose. But Jaylen even Rose still, said he's gone. And honestly, look. If hey, I'm look, Kyrie, Jaylen though, Rose turned out to be a reliable source. But, he but, told us about Kawhi. What did we say? He said that Kawhi was leaving and what happened? He left. Kawhi but, left. It, but if I'm... I, I think it depends on, like, the playoffs. Like, look, if, if let's say we get to, like, the second round, um, maybe get to the conference finals. As long as we don't lose in the first round, you have to examine what Boston has coming up, right? Boston has four first-round picks. Like, if we're looking at things realistically... No matter what Andy Davis says, that's the best destination for him to go when you look at the package that they can present to the Pelicans. You can offer them four first-round picks. Four. You want us to sign Trey Rozier? We can do that too. And pick somebody else. You're not even losing that much if he don't stay. Because you're not using all four first-round picks. We're like, 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 no, that's not. you're not going to use all the four first-round picks. You're going to bring in basically two lottery picks because the King going to be a lottery pick and the Grizzlies going to be a lottery pick. Then you're going to bring in a, another mid-lottery pick probably because the Clippers... The Grizzlies pick is going to be crazy. Yeah, but now the Grizzlies pick usually probably end up maybe like, I want to say, 7th, 8th, something still, like that. But still, you, you get the 7th, 8th pick in the draft. Fuck around if you if you the Grizzlies and, and get a bowl bowl. Yeah, but they're not going to get their pick though. Like, it's going to Boston. I mean, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like, even if you Boston, you want to fuck around See, and pick Bowl Bowl. I'm saying. Horford is on his way out. But I'm saying, but there's no way they're going to use Bo, all of Loki, those picks. Bowl Bowl and Kyrie would be kind of hard. I mean, yeah, if, yeah, I mean, if his feet can stay intact. He uh, broke his. That's why he ain't playing right now. He broke his foot. I do not like big men with breaking feet. Yeah, but KD broke his foot and he had big men. Yeah, but KD. There's a lot of big men that break their feet. Yeah, but hold on. Yeah, but fracture. hold on. KD is also like a slender guy. Bo Bo was a slender guy. Bo Bo not a fat guy. He not his father, but he not a fat. Yeah, dude. but he yeah, but he also like seven three seven four. That like anytime big men break their feet, it scares me. Even with KD, I remember saying back then like, yo, if he get hurt again, he might be the next Grand Hill. I remember saying that, thinking that, cause he, he broke his foot twice. Remember? You was tweaking. No, G. He no. Remember he broke his foot on like the doc. Remember that documentary they had? Yeah. He broke his foot at the end of it. Then he had literally thirty two points on the Warriors at halftime. 
and broke his foot with 30 seconds left. Or he broke his foot again, I think, at the buzzer. You don't remember that? Yeah. But still, I'm like, yo, G, I don't know if he gonna recover. I mean, it's yeah. that, that was like that, that was like the other part, the funniest part about like the Warriors signing KD. They literally took away their best, like greatest enemy. KD used to fuck the Warriors up every time. Yeah, but he used to get fucked up every time. No, he was no, 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 he, no. He started getting fucked up by the and Warriors Ray, after they he won. Would the let race. this dude, Russell Westbrook, no, he play started getting fucked ball. up. He 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 started getting fucked up after they won their ring. Like once they won their ring, yeah, it was like, yeah, we're not beating us. Tough time, bro. They played Denver. Oh, Dallas, they might get swept. The Lakers, Detroit. Minnesota, Houston, and Milwaukee. Oh, no, you realize, like, they're probably going to be the AFC and get swept in the first round. I'm not even joking. If they play the Warriors first round, they're getting swept. They're not being. I thought you no. said they were going to beat the Warriors. Yeah, no, hold on, no, no, no. You said they were going to beat the Warriors. No, no, no. You said they could take I the never win. said. I said they take a six, but not the first round. It's when you play people. You need confidence of beating people in series under your belt before you play the Oh, my God. Be, I think they're going to be the seventh seed, though. I think they could lose to Denver. I honestly think they could lose to Denver in six. Remember the last time they played when Jokic was stretching out Adams and he couldn't do shit with him? And they had to throw the wheel in the game? That's, that's one matchup to watch for. Yeah, I really yeah, yeah, yeah but them. I'm taking PG over. I, I mean, I think they can beat Denver. I, I don't think know. They can, I think they can beat Denver. I think, okay, I think OKC can beat Denver. I, think I, they think, can beat I don't think they can beat the Warriors, obviously. But that's going to be a crazy series. Uh, but I do think that they can beat Denver. I do think that the Thunder uh, can beat. I think the Thunder can beat everybody but the Warriors in the first round. I don't know, G. I think that yeah, they can beat everybody but the first, but the Warriors in the first round because I think PG has the PG at any point in time can get hot. I think that yeah, but have you seen how he been shooting since the shoulder? Like his shoulders worry me. Yeah, but he, he just oh, windmilled. I just saw that? this man. Windmill. I saw him windmill, but the thing about it is, bro, he has to play defense, and like the reason why both of his shoulders fucked up, he keep running in the screens. So your shoulders already hurt and you got to run in the most screen for seven more games? Okay, well stop playing defense. Like, come on, G. You can't man, stop playing stop defense. It, you, 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 come on, G. I need him on offense. You yeah, need him on defense, score. too. You do need him on defense. <laughs> what you, you mean? Need... He's your best Because Robeson not coming back at this point. Yeah. I mean, obviously. So he's your best defensive player by a mile. I mean, I mean, hey, it depends on Russ. If I mean, Russ be come, talking I mean, all that shit. Russ I mean, got to show up. I mean, look, Russ can play defense, but he ain't PG out there. If I'm Russ, if I'm Russ, and as long all we gotta do is avoid playing the Warriors in the first round. I think that for them. I think the best matchup for the Thunder is the Rockets, the Black Man, look, G, man, bro, man. No, not the Blazers. Cause I think I low key think Dame gonna send them home. I think Gee, Dame gotta, no, Gee. Dame got a point to prove. No, look, Dame got a point to prove, and Inez uh, got a contract coming up. Inez does have a contract. He, coming he's up. coming off. I think his I think his deal this year is sixteen point eight million dollars. It was against the cap, which is why he which is why they just cut him. So they cut him, and I think he took whatever for it. So he got a contract. He playing for a contract. Which is the reason so why I'm him. So if I'm him in New York, when he averaging, hold on, what's his numbers? When I went to the Garden, he got a he got a oh, twenty and twenty wait double. Wait a minute, I'm finna look. He up got a, he had a um twenty and twenty night. When I went to the Garden, he uh, had look, a twenty and twenty night. Look, 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 look. He just go who? He just he just can't play no defense in the pick and roll. His pick and roll defense is god awful. It's fine, but this is but look, Inez as a New York Nick was averaging fourteen and ten point five. His per thirty six this year. Um, um, are 19 and 14.7 and 2.7 assists uh, as a Nick and as a Blazer, 20 points per game, 13.9 total rebounds and three assists with one steal. Um, in his as his per 36 as a Blazer, look, in 15 games. Look. So all I'm saying is this: Look, Inez is the guy that is playing for a contract. He is, he is a guy that has been in the news more for his political views than his than, basketball than, than his basketball play. He has been a cut. He has been traded. He yeah, has been, he's been Nurk, all around back. the team. I mean, I mean, all around the league. Nurk is not coming back for a while. For Nurk a while. might not even come back for, for next year. He's not coming back next year. And literally, I heard it. Like, like, like I, I heard was, it. I was laying in bed with my girl, and I was like, "Yo, did you sell like, Yo, did you hear that?" And she was like, "What?" I was like, "He just broke his leg." And literally, you saw his foot. And I'm like, "Oh shit!" Nah, bro. Oh, I, gee, shit. literally, literally, I had like, cause I had like went to sleep. So I'm like, yo, this game gonna be fire, but I'm too tired to watch this whole game. I'm gonna just wake up, watch like fourth quarter. I wake up, I'm like, yep, I knew this was gonna be fire. Turn the game on. I watch overtime. I literally get up two plays before the fucked up part about it was that happened because he was whooping their ass on the boards. When Jerry Allen fouled out, Nurk was whooping their ass. Yeah, so was. like it was a whole bunch of bodies down there in the lane and feet down there in yeah, the lane he because he kept remember like two plays before yeah, he yeah, almost yeah, sprained his ankle yeah, two plays yeah, before. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like about that shit. so like literally when he like went up, I'm like Either he fell really, really hard, or like this man just broke his leg. No, no, you can hear it. It's and he's like, sitting down. I'm like, oh, his. I'm like, gee, his leg. I'm like, oh my god, gee, no, what the fuck, what the fuck, the fuck. 
I'm sorry, nerd. Nah, G, I'm I was sorry, like, no, nerd. Nerd, nerd, nerd like, nerd. Nerd, nerd, nerd. I want you to know, bro, that happened because you was whooping they ass. G. That literally happened because you was fucking them up, G. And that was nothing Jared Dudley, Hollis Jefferson. See, why was Jared Dudley? See, I was so mad. But, oh, but low-key, but low-key, I will say this. Jared Dudley made that great screen that allowed Dinwiddie, I think it was, to hit that three um, at the end of the game. Yeah, he's a solid player. But no, it's no, like, but, it's, but like, G, why is this man in the league? I don't G? mean because Jared Dudley shoot. should be in the big three. Nah, dude. he's a quality Sorry. veteran. It's like, no, like Jared Dudley's a quality no, veteran. No, that man, when he was slim, he was. Now he's fat and pudgy. I mean, yeah, no, he's still a G. good power forward. He's like there. Barbosa when Barbosa got fat. It was Barbosa. a rap, G. Oh, I mean, mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was cold when he was fat, G. <laughs> he was hooping in the finals. No, I'm talking about fat, fat DL. Not he was pudgy still DL. Fat, fat DL. He was still hooping. Dudley he was, was still always quality. a little pudgy. DL was always a little pudgy. He was still quality. DL was quality when he got the weight on him, G. He was quality with the weight, G. Come on, G. DL, Kemp, Jared Dudley, the weight all stars. You know, they was all quality with the weight, G. Shy Kemp, Jared Dudley, and Boris DL is with the weight all stars, G. They was all literally quality and fucking Raymond Felton because he fat as hell. All of them were quality with the weight, G. They decent, bro. They decent. It's not over with because they got punchy. They decent. But no, for like that's that's like the only thing where it's like, yo, it's not 100% over for the Blazers because at least they did sign Canner. Yeah, Canner it realistically can get you a double double any given night. Now he ain't gonna play no goddamn defense, but offensively at least like you still have your third score where you can still dump the ball to Canner. You yeah. also have Zach Collins like you you hope that he can give you something. So it's not one hundred percent over for the Blazers. I just think it just depends on matchup. Zach Collins, it's your time to shine, man. I said last year that you were my pick. Um, in terms of uh, being the guy that I thought was gonna help turn this franchise around, now's your time, bro. You gonna get a, you gonna get a lot of the minutes. It's time for rebounds. It's time for timely three. This year and next year, defense. This year, because Nurk's not coming back until twenty twenty one. Like he's next season's gone too, bro. Yeah, which is kind of bad. You got hurt, which is kind of bad. March, ain't, bro. Yeah, ain't, ain't this a contract get for Nurk too? I have no idea. Either that wondering. or he might have just signed an extension. I don't know. I can't remember. But I think it might be a contract gift. I don't him, think it is. Which, if it is, that's bad. But I hope not, man. Get well, Nerf, bro. That was one of the nastiest shits I've ever seen in my life, bro. That was that was Hayward level of grotesque. And it was like on a Monday night, G. Like, you know what I mean? See, it was like, like you know how Monday mad that man night, is G. right now, G. He like, not even on a primetime game or like a Friday, G. On a Monday night, Not G. even that, G. He had 32 and 16. He was whooping their ass. He was literally whooping, G. He was the best player on the court all night. He was whooping the G. He literally got hurt because he was whooping too hard. They were doing everything they could to keep this man out of the paint. And there were just so many, like, and usually, like, even like how he got hurt was mad random. Like, usually if you come down like that, you just sprain your ankle. Like, the way he came down, like, he came down on somebody's foot, and he put, like, all his body weight. He, like, 280. Yeah, So, he put all I his mean, body yeah. weight on, like, one leg, and the shit just snapped, bro. Yeah. Like, it just snapped, G. <laughs> like I'm saying that. Shit. I, bro, that shit. nah, I don't think it's, like, so the contract get this year. He has, Jesus look at the Christ, contract. Bro. His contract was, is nah. The it's Bulls guaranteed. are shutting down Larry Marketing for the remainder of the yeah, season. Yeah, get that tank in. They're being precautionary. Um, an episode of a uh, rapid heart rate and fatigue. Whoa. What? Yeah, he will have an additional testing in the next ten to fourteen days. Damn, he had a strong season, averaging nineteen and nine points. Shout out to Shams for the for nah. The he by, by the way, Nurk signed his deal this summer, okay. so at least he got paid. At least he got the forty. Yeah. He got he got fifty million. At least he leg, got fifty million. My leg hurt just thinking about. See, I've been thinking about this shit for four days, G. Because I got up and I watched that. I'm like, yo, this game is mad exciting, G. And I got up and like you could low key see that he was about to get hurt. Like, every player progressively got like, yo, they is like fucking this man progressively <laughs> up. Then he breaks his goddamn leg. I'm like, come on, G. I just got up and just looked at this shit. <laughs> you can see Dame after the game. Like, G, I don't know what y'all want me to do, G. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Then they're going to interview the man. Like, G, let, G, let that man walk to the locker room, G. He don't want to talk, bro. Then they had to play the rest of the game, G. <laughs> I'm like, G, end this fucking game, bro. And G, literally, I kept, shit off, G. I kept screaming. I'm G, like, I'm like, end this game. fucking game, and literally, bro. Every, literally, if I'm playing, I'm like, every, I mean, I'm not every... jumping no more, G. I'm done jumping, G. Literally, <laughs> G, literally, did that. Did you see how many threes was after that? G, I don't think nobody laid the ball off the rest of the game. It was mad threes. G, didn't nobody play no defense for the next three minutes. G, I'm not playing no defense, bro. No. Get away from me. I'm shooting jump shots, G. I'm not. This man just broke his leg off his body. G, no, bro. No, G. G, G, it was a play yesterday, G. I swear to God, bro. I was watching the Cleveland-Boston game, right? 
you know, so obviously, like, they changed the quarters. It didn't even dawn on me. Like, all, like they had, like, the uh, earned it or, like, the city uniforms on. So, yeah. they, like, switched quarters a little bit. So, it didn't even dawn on me that, like, Gordon Hayward broke his damn leg off his body in Cleveland, right? Uh-huh. Yesterday, <laughs> Hayward went to the lane. And, like, he was bodies in the lane. And the man, like, you could tell he was like, man, fuck this shit. I'm finna just land and just threw the ball off the damn backboard. Like, completely stopped concentrating on making the layup. And solely was like, man, I'm finna make sure I'm landing. I'm, you know what? I feel you, bro. I feel you, G. I, I 100% feel you, G. If, if you, and I literally tweeted, like, bro, I feel like sometimes when Harry goes to the rim, he's just, like, more focused on landing than making the shot. I'm like, I feel you, G. I 100% feel you. And we in Cleveland, fuck that layup, bro. We don't need that layup that bad, G. We don't need it, bro. We don't need it. But, like we said, luckily they did sign Cannon. Like, man. Prayers for Nurk, man. Pray for Nurk. Yeah, prayers for Nurk. Like, like I said, Dane, like, like this offseason again, I don't think it's that much of, I'll say it one more time. I don't think it's that much of a separation between, I got to drop Russ a little bit. Like, because Russ just be wilding sometimes. I don't think it's that much of a separation between Dame, Kyrie, and Steph. But I think Dame has a chance Between to, Dame and Steph. Whatever. I think, no. You Kyrie, put Kyrie, 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 Kyrie and Russ. Kyrie, no, Kyrie. Like no, I said, no, like I said, Kyrie no. and Russ, to me, are second options. I just, and that's I, why they're not in the category. Dame Lillard, to me, is a, is a primary. Option. I disagree with you. Yes, he I is. disagree with you. I just think that both of those have more experience in being a primary option, and also they're older. Like they've been, they've been like they're like two years older than um than um Kyrie is. I think Kyrie's doing great this no, year. He's not. Hold on, stop. I think Kyrie's he doing great this year. Locker room. I think. What do you mean? The you're other fine. guys are like even Russ is like nobody likes Kyrie. They're fine. They're not fun. They're like look, even they like have the chemistry bro, issues. even the podcast with Tatum. Like I think that they're cool. I think the chemistry issues come from like you have a whole bunch of young guys. All these other locker rooms are veteran locker rooms. You got first year, second year, third year, 21 year old guys with some of their rookie deals and trying to get fucking paid. I think that's more the issue with the fact that they don't just like each other. Yeah. And even the coach, the coach ain't even a veteran. He ain't even 40. I mean, yeah, but still, you questioning the coach. That's why I don't, that's why I don't fuck okay. with Kyrie. Okay, like look. Okay, I feel you question the coach. Like you probably shouldn't say that in the media, but obviously that's like fucking from the school in LeBron. So that's some, that's some that's some like yeah, definitely. That's some I mean, but like but Phoenix always got over knees. But anyway, that's from the school of LeBron. Like you probably shouldn't question the coach in the media, but also like I do understand him saying like you should probably double Kimball. He's fucking killing us. Double this man. He yeah, but, the you, fucking but is you playing against this man. That's like me. That's Help like me, <laughs> motherfucker. Do you not see what this man doing to me? Help me. Help me! Help! Help! Do you help? Like, G, you I'm subbed me out. I'm literally gonna put Kyrie in the middle of a water, of a, of a life help, raft G. in the ocean. <laughs> G, you subbed me out. Kimba goes on like a 10-0 run himself. You put me back in the game. Probably you subbed me out when we up 20. So basically, I probably got ice on my knees. I'm chilling, thinking I ain't going back in. You done put me in the go guard Kimba Walker after this man already on fire. Then you not gonna double him? You not gonna help me out? You ain't see me. He was shaking the shit out of Tatum the last two minutes I straight. Mean, I mean, yeah, but you say he, yeah, he's just shaking shit out of Tatum. Like you said, you're not gonna double him. Like you supposed to guard him. That's why Kyrie's. They were switching too. everything, but still, That's why like Kyrie's I, weak. I understand when he was like, "Yo, like we should have doubled him, bro." You play on the Hornets. They have fucking Dwayne Bacon on the court with that man. G, get the ball out this man's hands. I understand that. No, sorry. I weak. feel him. Weak. I feel him. Nope. Weak. Rookie of the year. Who you got? Um, obviously, my son, Luka Doncic. Not co rookie to you? I think it'd be co rookie to you, bro. <laughs> co rookie, co rookie to you, G. Like, I, I, no I, 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 I think for the, ass, man. I think for the um second half of the year, Luka, uh, Trey ass. has been stronger and more impressive than Luka for the um second half of the year. Even if you look at like thirty and ten games, I think he has what like six thirty and ten games. Luka has one. I'm now, granted, Luka's got more triple doubles. I'm just, I'm just saying. Luca had in three quarters 28, 11, and nine, nine the other day. Yeah, Stop that's dope. this. No. Trey no, Young had like 32 and 16 no, the other day. No, I'm sorry. Dude, what you mean? There is no co rookie. I think it should be co rookie. There is no co rookie of the year. Co rookie of the year. There is no co rookie of the year. They did it for Grand Hill and um, they not, Jason they, they, they not they doing that this year. They have a whole Young. award show. You think they're they going to do a co rookie of the year? You yes. Wild as they should do co rookie of the year. Hell no. They should, Trey Young shouldn't win it outright. Lucas shouldn't win it outright. But yes, I think he should be Kobe Giddy. Um, Trey Young. Other, um, other Trey other Young. Other. I respect I respect what you do. But it's the same thing as that Ben Simmons, Donovan Mitchell thing last year. Sometimes you just not good enough. And that's just what it boils I mean, down to. I still to. think that. And sometimes when you're not good enough, you just got to take your L. And just be like, but it's all good, I, G. Like, I it ain't nothing wrong. He's not he's no He's been good enough. G, literally. literally I was not only did I tell y'all that Luka Doncic was gonna be better than LeBron James as a rookie. 
He is better than LeBron James as a rookie. It, I, I tweeted the stats the other day. All around the floor, he is better than LeBron James. He, okay. And actually, he is only doing he is doing stuff. He is in rarefied air. Not even LeBron James himself was able to get inside of this air. Where he is the first rookie since Michael Jordan to average 21, 5, and 5. Like, he's going crazy. What, Bron was, what, 25 and 5? So he's always like... It don't matter. It don't off. matter. It he's don't matter. Off. It's better than he's LeBron. Point what did I tell you? One point what did I tell you? I don't you? think he's no, been what better did than I tell LeBron, you? Though. And also, the floor heat map on for him, he shoots from everywhere. Yeah, LeBron only shot from better. literally the paint. No. I mean, yeah, but at the same he's, time, look no. at the NBA back at that point in time. Nobody was shooting that many threes, He's better. Bro. Nobody was shooting no, that many threes. No, I'm not even talking about threes. Take away the threes. Look in the mid-range. His percentages are better. He's better than him. I mean, yeah, but bro, like in 2003, is better than LeBron. Luka Doncic is better than LeBron James. I told y'all. I told y'all. And I was right. Shout out to my son. I just traded gang. I respect you. I respect everybody in Atlanta. Keith, you wild and you don't want Boogie. You won't Boogie until Boogie tear his ACL or his Achilles or some shit like that on a random Monday night in fucking Phoenix. I'm joking. I'm joking. Because he's not going to sign to Atlanta, okay? Boogie's not going to Atlanta. Boogie's not going to Atlanta. Boogie, do not go to Atlanta. Boogie, do do us a favor. Don't go to Atlanta. Go to New. I would rather you go to New York. I would rather you go to L.A. Dallas. I would rather you even go to the Blazers. Dallas. Do not. Ooh, Boogie on the Blazers. Yo. They don't. They can't. They, how? What you mean? How? How is he gonna get to the Blazers, bro? They what you mean? How? Money. How? How? How they gonna free up money to get him? What you mean? How they don't have no money to get that man? How you know they don't have no money? Because look at their uh, books. They have no money to get that man. I mean, we'll figure it out. No, there's no way to figure it out. We'll he figure can't it out. go. Yes, he can. How? You don't know that. You don't know that. How, G? You don't know. How, well, there's G? a boogie there's a way. I'm sorry, boogie. That didn't mean to be disrespectful. I was literally, like, joking because I don't think you're going to sign with the Hawks. That's how much I don't think you're going to sign with the Hawks. I'm making up hypothetical injuries that you're going to sign with the Hawks, and you never going to sign with the Hawks. Remember, I said it first. But... Uh, I respect Ice Trade, but no, sorry, Luca. Luca, there is no such thing as co MVP. Co, I mean, I mean, there is no such thing as co rookie of the year when you doing shit that only Michael Jordan was fucking. doing. I mean, yeah, but Trey Young doing shit that only. I mean, Trey Young doing shit better than Mike. The only, the only, the only person who got more 30, 30, 30 and ten games as a rookie is fucking Oscar Robinson. And did Michael you just jo- hear what I just said? I heard what you just said. Did you hear what I just I, said? Yes. Did you is hear Trae what Young I just said? Twenty one points a game. Is fucking Luca averaging eight assists? Is it fucking Trey Young Gee, averaging seven rebounds? Trey Young is second in the goddamn league in total assists in general. Okay, so what is a point guard? G fucking second. He's he not fucking nineteen. Luka Doncic is nineteen years old, averaging twenty one. That's dope. Eight and I'm not saying six. Not what good. are you talking about? I'm saying this should be called rookie of the year. No, they ain't. Yes. No, you're ridiculous. Yes. No, you're preposterous. Yes. If they and did actually, that, let me shit. look up Luka's exact numbers so that way we yeah, all say I'm wrong. I'm wrong. All right. Luca's exact numbers this year, it, he's averaging twenty one point one points per game. Assist. I don't want to see that shit. Seven point six total of, I mean I'm sorry, seven point six rebounds per game and four point nine I'm sorry and five point nine total assists per game. No, he's better. Gee, Trey Luke, Young hashtag is hashtag Luca better. Trey Young is forty one percent from the field, thirty three percent from three. Actually I'm making he's them eighty two percent from uh the um free throw I'm line, giving you three point six rebounds, seven point nine no. assists. Um, almost a steal a game and eighteen point nine points. And it's not better than Luca. Luca give you a whole steal a game. No. And hold on. No. And how, how many turnovers a game he averaging? Three point nine. Exactly. What's Luca averaging three point four. Stop. Come it. on, G. That's Stop damn near the same shit. No, it's Come not. On, it's, it's a whole half a turnover shit. less. No, it's not a half a turnover less. You said three point nine. I said three point four. That's it's a half turnover. Same shit. It's no, like it's one. Not. It's G. literally That's half like turn- G. That's like probably one less turnover game. How does that make? How? It's like one less turnover game. It's literally they a both half fucking turnover. Rookies. I'm telling you the exact math. That's, That's cool. Like, they both fucking rookies. It's like one less turnover a game over no, the season. No, no, no. I'm sorry. And Luca got a higher use. And Luca got a higher usage rate. So no. I mean, well, yeah. Now because he no. got his whole fucking team traded. No, no. Sorry, but no. No what, cigar. Um, tell him to keep. Tell Luca. Tell. I mean, look. What's look, Luca's usage rate? Huh? Um, it's around thirty. Trey is at twenty eight point three. Which is even better. That's even better. He's still averaging less turnovers and he's holding the ball as much. What so is, no. no what, what's his what's his actual usage rate? But I'm but like but like, I'm, I'm sure his usage rate went up recently because they got his whole fucking team traded. No, his usage rate is at thirty. It's thirty point four. Yeah, but it went up recently. No, it, it, it didn't. Was Stop telling me month what it went up. It was no, lower. I'm month not month talking about month, month by month. month. Why are you always talking about month by month? I'm looking at averages for the season. We're not talking about month by month. We're talking about rookie of the year. It says rookie of the year. I understand what you're saying. Of the whole fucking year. I understand year. what you're not saying. Not a goddamn month. I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. 
throughout the second half of the, of the year. season. MVP is most valuable player of the year. Yes, I feel you. Not for the That's why James Harden not the MVP. And throughout the second half of the season, Trey Young has been better than Luka Doncic. He has not been better than Luka Doncic. You can't say that when Luka Doncic is still giving you triple doubles. Gee, how many plays? Twenty eight, eleven, and nine in the first half. You how many plays? Gee, how many player of the weeks has Luka Doncic played? NBA player of the week. He's playing had. in the West. G. Fuck does that mean? He's playing Luka in the West. in the East. G, come on, G. Trey Young winning player of the West. Giannis in the East. Come on. Giannis in the East. Trey Young, Trey Young. Embiid in the East. Trey Young winning player. Trae Trae with the city been come doing, on, yeah. G. Have you come seen on, what this man G. been this doing? Man Embiid ain't even been playing half the time. Giannis, Giannis been, there. Giannis was out two of them games with a sore right ankle. What are you talking Blake about, there. G? Come on, man. Blake there. Fuck out of here. No, like ain't nobody in the East. Come on, G. It's people in the East. He's having a good month. A good month. He's having a great it's team. It's not rookie of the year. He's had a great season. It's not rookie of the year. He's had a it's great not season. Rookie of the year. It should be called rookie of the year. It's I'm not, sorry. No, there is no such it thing as a co rookie of the year. Yes, That's it weak. is. They've done it That's before. Weak. They not They've doing that before. shit. They Adam Silver. Now you talking about you gonna write a letter? I'm gonna write a letter if they have co rookie of the year. They gonna ball that shit up and burn it. No, they not. No, they not. No, they not. You wanna know why they not? Because they not dumb enough to have no fucking co rookie of the year. He ain't no co-rookie of the year. The same reason Donovan Mitchell won co-rookie of the year last year. You was arguing this bullshit last year. That's weak. No. That's weak. I, no. That's weak. I, there are winners and there are losers. What I said for Donovan and, last and year. And Trey Young this year is just going to be a loser. And what it's I no, said for Donovan no last year. I said that Donovan, I thought Donovan should have run it, won it because that man had more offensive responsibility on him than what Ben Simmons had last year. But hold on, wait. The reason why Ben Simmons did win it is because they went on that 13 John game. John Collins averaged 20 and 10. Are you listen, telling me? Listen, you should have been talking listen, about them talking to me about listen, offensive listen, responsibility. Listen, 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 you just told me Luka Doncic got a whole listen, team trade. Listen, listen real How quick. Does that listen compute? real quick. That's not. Dirk Nowitzki. Wait, wait, look, no, that's not no, what no, I said. In year 21, Dirk, Dirk, is, is Dirk Rockefeller Nowitzki is starting NBA basketball game. He is averaging 6.3 points per game. John, that Collins is out there averaging 20 and 10. When he not found now, he out there going crazy. What is. You I wasn't so using that argument. No, no. I wasn't using that responsibility argument for um, Trey Young this year. I was saying last year I thought that Donovan should have won it because he had more offensive responsibility. But the reason why Ben Simmons got it was because he had that 13 game win streak. And Lucas' team's it's been 14. fucking losing. 14. Lucas' team's been fucking losing. They're tanking. The Hawks' been winning. Because they're tanking. I understand that. Because they're tanking. I understand that. Because they're tanking. I understand that. They're purposefully tanking so they they're, can keep their pick. They're putting forward one of, one of the best tanks. No, no, they're purposefully forward. tanking. No, no, no. no I told no, you this. No, no, no. You didn't tell anybody. Everybody knows it. Everybody's been people talking really, about it. I don't know how many people really I've seen articles that. written about it. If people know that they're tanking so okay. that way they can keep the seat. Okay. If you follow the Mavericks, you know that they're tanking so that way they can keep that fucking okay. pick. Okay? I know that. So it's one of the best tank jobs so going in the past. You want like to lose. Years. You literally want to lose. It's one of the best. That is why Dirk Nowitzki in year twenty one is still starting basketball games. I mean, Dirk hooped the Warriors up. He I don't want to hear about G. Dirk hooping the Warriors up. G. G. No, G. G. I don't care about that. Okay, a dead as Stephen A. Smith G. says, a dead <laughs> clock is right <laughs> twice a day. No, no, okay, a dead clock is right twice a day. No, I don't want to hear that. Shout out to Stephen A. Smith. No. This man Dirk is out there hooping. Don't talk to me about Trey Young when John Collins is out there still hooping, giving you twenty and ten. John Collins is the best player on that team, probably. He is the best player on that team. It ain't no problem. But the but, team's built around. But Trae also, Young. like I said, I know disrespect to Trey Young. Like I told you, Trey Young is a top ten rookie ever. Luka Doncic is just the best rookie I since mean, Michael Jordan. Man, I hate going with top ten rookies and no Luka. He not, is. First of all. Yes, he and is. I hate like he's I the best Trae rookie Young. since Michael Jordan. Shaq no, can do this not, shit. G. No, Shaq, Shaq, just, Shaq can do this shit. G. Bro, that's I'm sorry, David Robinson, like Dave Robinson had. Fucking great David Robinson had pop, had G. Great no, G. Pop is great. He got fucking Rick Carlisle. Rick Carlisle ain't a good coach. Huh? Rick Carlisle ain't no, ain't no fucking good coach. That's why they traded the team away. Rick Carlisle ain't a good coach, G. No, Rick Carlisle. But you just said no. he got pop. And no. he did have pop back then. Pop won a coach okay, in 94. Okay, fine. Shut the fuck You're up. Right. Pop actually, no. That, actually, no. Who was a coach like in 94? I don't know. Some random person. That was like 88. Winning 94 was like 88. It was some random person that we don't know. Let's see. Spurs. Coach. Pop did actually funny, first of all, Pop funny as hell when he took over. Pop tanked the season, then fired the coach, then took over and drafted Tim Duncan. He funny mm-hmm. as fuck for doing that. Larry Brown. Okay. Larry Brown. So stop that. Mad random. Stop that. Stop Who a better that. coach? Larry Brown or Rick Carlisle? Larry Brown. You're lying to yourself. Larry Brown. No, Larry, you, what you, you mean? Larry Brown took. What you, you mean? That. You don't believe he took took who? The team with every award. Yeah. The team with every award. They, they got to they got to be coached. The team with every they got to be coached. Yeah, they do got to be coached. Exactly. So it was, stop that. Get the ball to AI and play defense. That was the coaching. That's great coaching. Okay. What do you mean? That's great coaching <laughs> until you run into Shaq and fucking Kobe. It's great coaching. Hey man, look. And then you run into Shaq and Kobe. You can't do. I want to say this right here. Come on, G. Me and A had me and A had the same height, G. 
It ain't nothing I can do against Shaq and Kobe. Dude. I want to say this right here. First of all, I want to preface this by saying I love AI. AI is my hero. G, don't do this. Don't for, do this for the game. Oh my god. But I did. I do but, not condone this. But I do not condone this. I, I think do, a lot of people I, have I, expanded I do, hold on, upon disclaimer. I do not. I could. I do not condone listen, the statements about to come at his mouth. I think a lot of people have expanded oh, upon the job that Allen Iverson did. I think that Steph is better. I think that Kyrie is better. I think that Dave is better. And I think arguably, maybe one day we will say Kimball Walker is better. No, then don't say. We'll it. never nah, say. Nah, it. nah, don't bring this. Don't bring this argument up and say maybe, arguably, one day, either, either, either nah, say it or, look, or don't. Nah, bro. Nah, that's weak. Nah, that's look, weak. bro. Get nah, out of here. Nah, you nah, look. Nah, I'm not look, allowing you to get quick, that no, off. No, no, look, no, look, no, look, no, listen, listen. I uh watched Kimba's Knucklehead podcast, and I was like gaining a lot of a lot a lot more respect for Kimba Walker. And Michael Jordan really need to get that man some help. There is no help. He keep trying G, to win he, basketball G, games he instead of trying get, to tank. G, he got to get that man some help, bro. Where? Like G. He tried to get a Marcus Gasol. It didn't work. He like, tried to get. He tried to get. He tried to get a Mike Conley. He tried to get both of them, didn't he? No, he tried to get. Mark. No, it was yeah, only Mark. Oh, yeah, but still, Mark. he tried to get him help. It didn't work. The fucking Raptors was the one who tried to trade Lowry and Jonas for. Uh, I feel. Mark. I feel. <laughs> man, that would have been a come up for I mean, like, Memphis, though. Like, like, bro, like somebody asked this question: Who are Kimber Walker's best teammates? It's a real Bat- question. Nicholas Batum, Dwight Howard. Um. Is Nick Batum really one of his best teammates? Yeah, yeah, Nick Batum. When he's on the court. No, nah, Nick Batum, Dwight Howard, um, and then I would say probably um what I mean what I mean not Marvin Harrison, um the dude Big from Al? New York. The new dude from New York. You wanna say Big Al? Big Al was on the Hornets? Yeah. When? He, he, actually yeah, uh Big Al When was yeah. Big Al on the Hornets? In 2012, 2014. That was before he went to the Celtics? He big Al player? No, that was Al. Oh, to my, to my Al, Al um, yeah. big, Jefferson, um, Al Jefferson, not Al Jefferson. Yeah. Um, so Al Jefferson, yeah, Dwight yeah, Howard. Al Jefferson, Dwight Howard, Nicholas Batum. Come on, G. You gotta get that man some help, bro. He, he in the East. Get that man. You can't call this man AI. He can't get his team to the playoffs. G, who is he? G, come AI on, was G, better than him. Man. Stop G, disrespecting this man. Help, G. Stop disrespecting that, this I'm man. I'm not G. I'm you not. You on a roll. You've been on a roll. Stop disrespecting this man. Look, AI G, is not better than him. I love AI. I gotta go to the bathroom. You keep I love AI, AI bro. I love wow. AI, G. AI is one of my favorite human beings on planet Earth. I just think that a lot of guards have expanded upon the foundation that he's laid. Like I said, I think that Steph's better. I think Kyrie is better. I think Dame is better. And I think arguably Kemba may be better as well. It's just that G, this man Kemba out here not playing with nobody. G. They got this man Kemba out here. The other day, the starting lineup. Was like Kemba Walker, Jeremy Lamb, Dwayne Bacon, Marvin Williams, and like Biombo G. What you want that man to do with that? How that man finna go out there and win with that? Kemba, what I want you to do this offseason is I want you to free yourself. You don't deserve this, Kemba Walker. Free yourself and go somewhere. Kemba Walker, I want you to go somewhere so people can understand the absolute murderer on the basketball court you are. You dropped a man off in the garden. That's been your best highlight of your career so far. You are so much more better of a basketball player than to have that be the best highlight of your career because you play on a terrible-ass team and you can't make no other highlights. You couldn't remember any of them because they never come past April. Kemba, I want you to save yourself this offseason. Do not let Michael Jordan swindle you. I understand it's a lot of money to give up. I understand that you will probably be the best player in this Charlotte Hornets franchise history. But what I want you to do this offseason, Kimba, is save yourself. Save yourself, Kimba. Go somewhere else. You you do not fucking deserve this. Save yourself, Kimba. Please save yeah, Kimba, yourself. Yeah, Kimba, go to L.A. and be LeBron James number two. No, don't go to L.A. supposed to do. Go do two. something. No, no. Go to fucking Indiana. Go to goddamn the Bucks. I think, no, actually, no, no, no. Not the Bucks. Go to Indiana. Go somewhere, G. Save yourself, bro. Go anywhere, G. I would love to see him and Oladipo in the backcourt together. I would fucking love that. Oladipo tore his thigh muscle. So He'll I'm be fine, trying, G. Nah, Tony Parker came back and played. Nah, obviously, Tony Parker and I got don't know how to Victor friends. Oladipo wasn't that good before he got Yeah, before. Dad, he was nice, G. He, he, was, he was good. He was nice. He okay. wasn't that good. Then Kemba come and be your, I mean, but would they like Oladipo Why be your sidekick? Why would I want to go to Indiana? What you mean? What you mean? To who? It's a good basketball coach. I'm going to go to New Orleans. Do you, why? Tell AD to stay. I don't, I don't think AD is like burn. I don't think he's no. You think he I, don't think AD, yeah, I don't think AD. I don't think AD want to. I'm like, fine with that. It don't matter if AD go to the Knicks. They was out there booing that man actually, every time he touched the ball. Kyrie actually perfect. If Kyrie leave the Celtics and go to the Knicks, and the Celtics still get Anthony Davis, if I'm Kimba and and I, and I'm the Celtics, I I, I call it and I'm oh he just disturbed. Okay, Jeff Green just made up for getting sauced up by Lance. He just he just made up for <laughs> it. That man went up. That man went up. Yo, was that Dwight? Yeah, Dwight is in uniform on the sidelines. Shout out to Dwight. 
We still see you, Dwight. We still waiting for answers, Dwight. Yo, Dwight, like, brushed that shit off amazingly. Yeah. God he, damn. He, yeah. God damn. Yeah, Jeff Green made up God for it. God damn. He made up for getting some God stuff to the moon damn. by Lance, even though Lance God. stepped on his foot. I mean, yeah, but you know what? A lot of, like, like, I don't care if you stepped on his foot. Yeah, like, if that happened to you at the park, you ain't got no replay. Like, if that happened to you at the park, you know low key Steph stepped on Chris Paul's foot? If you watch it, he stepped on his foot, but it don't matter. So what? It, 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 it don't it, like G. That man did this. G. It don't matter, G. It don't matter. Don't get your foot stepped on, G. Jokes are jokes. You gonna get these jokes for the rest of the time. Yeah, it's that right. was a that was a hilariously funny night. By the way, remember they put that man on Twister. Yeah, <laughs> put that man on the Twister thing. Had that man do it like that on Twister. But yeah, shout out to the Suns and, the, and who the have Warriors. been playing much better. But Ubre got hurt, and now they're back to sucking. Yeah, they were playing much better when Uber. I think Uber was giving you twenty a night before he got hurt. You know what, Kyrie? I would love to see you go to Phoenix. You and Devin Booker would make a. Would I thought they should have went to Phoenix. Like, would make a terrible one-two combination. But y'all remember, Phoenix still, was but the y'all, team. But y'all were Aiden. That wouldn't be bad. Remember, Phoenix was the team that they well, were saying nah, he was going to get traded to. Yeah, but nah, not nah, nah, not Phoenix because Aiden ain't gonna never get no shots. He'll be alright. Kyrie will get him the ball. Ky- no, like bro, Kyrie passes the basketball. People act like he shoots all day. He passes the basketball. A lot. I don't want him being People my, in Boston just don't fucking make shots I, when he passes the ball. I don't want him being my starting point guard with DeAndre Aiden. I need DeAndre Aiden to have more of a, a John Stockton type. And I feel you. And I need Devin Booker to be more of a more of a more of a Clay Thompson type. I need Devin Booker to be Jim Jackson. I'm not upset at that. And by the way, I'm I'm happy that you finally even Bradley Beal his respect as a basketball player. I mean, yeah, they still trash, but I feel you. He decent. He's equal to Clay. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm still not saying he's better. He's, he's equal better to Clay. Clay. He's a more dynamic player than Clay. He's equal to Clay. Um, I think he's equal to Clay now. I'm not upset at that. I mean, he's still the last pick in the All Star game, but I mean that, that that's just who he gonna be. I mean, because he's in fucking career. Washington. Dude. Yeah, but that's just who he gonna be for the rest of his career. Though. I don't think he gonna Washington be is definitely. fucked. By the way, like they're fucked. They're fucked. Yeah, they're fucked. Washington is probably the most. Washington and the Hornets are the most fucked franchises in the NBA. I mean, it depends. Guys like Thomas Bryant are, are still really good. If John Wall comes back and he's decent, you're not fucked. G. I still think Bradley Bill value is high. I, I want to know even if a team like Boston is like, "Yo, we want Bradley Bill." Why am I? What well, I, I understand this, but like, and what? They give away some picks. Give me a pick. Give me two picks. Give me, give me, give me a first round, a second round, and no, I won't know. You got Rogier. fucking four first round picks. You give me all them shit. Oh, no, nah, you're not give getting me two all, of them shit. You're not getting. Give you, me two of them. Yeah, and I need Terry Rozier in a signing trade. Why do I want Terry Rozier? Because John Wall is fucking hurt. I'm putting John Wall give fat Jay, ass at the two, and I'm telling him no, learn Jesus how to. Jesus Christ, I'm no. putting his fat ass. Yes, Jesus I'm Christ, his fat ass at the two. Jesus I'm, Christ, no, I'm no. This is what I'm doing. No, we get him, gave you all this fucking money. You better learn how to fucking shoot and sit your fat ass at the two. All right, and learn how, shoot. Learn how to shoot. Sit your look, 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 look. You better go hang out with PJ Tucker all summer. Learn how to shoot them fucking corner threes. He's not all right, learn how to shoot. But I still, asked you, PJ but, the wrong guy. Hey, did you see PJ last night shooting that goddamn corner three? Airballing that bitch. Yeah, I saw it. But also, even if I'm the, but even if I'm the Wizards, give me Terry Rozier and give me Jalen Brown if you don't want. to Okay, play. nah, fine. Give me Terry. Give me Jalen Brown and give me Robert Williams. Now I go mm. and give me a pick. Mm. That's that's. I mean, I'm fine with that. Yeah, and then you take Bradley Beal. I think the Celtics are great. They, they, it don't matter if Kyrie leaves. It, I, it Danny Ainge literally looking like you think I don't he, give a fuck. Do what look, you want to do. He look, he, look, he look like you think I care. I don't care. He don't. It, it doesn't matter. Bye. It doesn't. But wait, not, if you can't get it done here, you're not Boston made anyway. If I'm Kyrie, not. I don't even know. Again, if I want to leave, like look, when I look at the only weak link I look at in uh, Boston's lineup is the four spot. I don't think the Morris twin should be your starting forward. Like, if yeah. that was Anthony Davis, it would be amazing. But that's just Marcus Morris. That's, like, the only issue. Is that that's yeah, just but not Anthony like, Davis don't want to play in Boston. I understand that, but they have so many picks and so many players that, that they can move away that even if he leaves, I don't think it's that catastrophic. And you can maybe convince it. And look. How does that make look, sense if you trade look, all your picks away look, from him? And look, and look, listen, because I think they'll, they'll still have some picks after that. I think they have more picks after, like, this year. If I'm not mistaken, I, I like, look and see Yeah, but I'm have. not trying to keep rebuilding. You're not going to be rebuilding. If you re-sign Kyrie and you get Anthony Davis, like, realistically, maybe that's possibly the best team in the East next season. One or two, you it got should a real be the, shot. It should be the best team in the East. It you should got be the a, best like, team in the NBA. You got a real shot. And if you win a ring, like, are you really about to leave after winning a ring? Who does that? No, nah, not in Boston. No. Nah. Who the then fuck that makes does him that? Because, honestly, a ring with Boston makes Anthony Davis one of the greatest players ever. 
I mean, you gotta get them more than just one. Dude. No, it don't. No, gotta, it don't. No, it don't. No, it don't. No, it don't. A ring in Boston? No, it don't. It made, it made KG one. one of the greatest players ever. No, it solidified KG and say that we talking shit about him. It's same thing with Anthony Davis. But that's not one of the greatest players ever. Same thing with Anthony Davis. And he, also, AD is a better player than 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 KG. And also, he's in, and also he mm, came to know. And also, he came there. I'm KG, so so on that AD is a better player than KG. And also, but I feel you. KG came there after his prime. You're getting Andy Davis in his prime. Yeah. If he wins one ring, only one ring, yeah. that's a disappointment. Oh you got God. Kyrie and AD He's in their prime. You better win more than one ring. You better give me at least two. And we better have at least three finals appearances. So one what? Enough. Still. Now that? Okay, cool. Still, one one ring puts him. Because I already told you he's better than Bill Russell. <laughs> He Glass already better than Bill Russell. So one is no, nah, look, 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 look. Shout out to you, Glass G. I respect you, G, and I respect how much you respect the legend, G. But one ring for Anthony Davis is equal to eleven for Bill Russell, G. Okay, Bill Russell was playing against Bob Cousy, G. He was playing with Bob. Cousy. He was playing with Bob. Bob I'm sorry, not against Bob Cousy. Cousy. He was playing with Bob. Cousy I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This man's playing with Bob Cousy and John Havlicek, G. He has he had hitters on his team, G. He had, he had more a, Hall of Famers, too. It was like he had Hall way team. more Hall of Famers, okay? And he, and like I said, Bill Bill Russell today would be Tristan Thompson. You're wild, but okay. I'm not joking. They got to take Larry Martin Bill, off that graphic. He ain't Bill, back. Bill Russell today, dead ass, would be, would be double T. You're wild. You, for real, I'm not joking. You're wild. He'd be Ben Wallace. He would be, no, he ben wouldn't. Wallace. He would be, he would be double T. Nah, ben he Wallace. would be a taller Ben Wallace. Ben Wallace was like Kobe Hyde. Ben Wallace was Kobe Hyatt. Yeah, ben, ben, ben Wallace was Kobe Hyatt with ben Eric Bledsoe arms. Ben Wallace was Kobe Hyatt. Ben Wallace was Kobe Hyatt. Ben Wallace was Kobe Hyatt. Kobe out the 6'6". Six, six, no, ben Wallace was like 6'6". Six, ben six, Wallace six, was like 6'7", six, 6'8", six, bro. He wasn't no goddamn 6'6". He was like 6'6", six, 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 G. Is no Ben goddamn, Wallace a Hall of Famer? Six, six. Yes, hands down. Okay, not hands down, but yes. Yes, hands down. Yes. Stop that, man. No, look, listen. It's not first ballot. Because I think this is like his second time on the ballot. But he should get in, yes. Okay. Everybody that's on that ballot right now should eventually get in. Yeah, Tim Hardaway should get in as well. Like the, like him saying that I ain't in because of what I said, it might really be true. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, it, it, yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah. Just like just like that, as he, if Kobe didn't have that one night in Colorado, we would look at his career way differently. Yeah, we would. I mean, but we still. I mean, come nah, on, man. gee, no, no, look, no, look. Kobe arguably has a legitimate resume to be better than Michael Jordan. He is better than Michael Jordan. No, I don't joking. disagree with you. I'm joking. He's no, not no, 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 no. Listen. As a basketball, if we string talking about basketball, fuck all the legacy shit. Everything nah, Kobe, else. Kobe was the least efficient out of all of them, so he can't be better than Michael Jordan. It matters how many shots you take. To but, me, it matters. It but, matters. But, 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 I would argue that Kobe Bryant never played with anybody to set him up like Mike had. I fuck with Lamar, but that's not Scotty. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, I feel you, but you telling me Kobe and Chris Paul would have been, I mean, Kobe would have been some crazy new player because he played with Chris Paul? No. I mean, gee, if fucking Chris Paul at hard working, what the fuck you think Chris yeah, Paul and Kobe Chris gonna Paul do? Yeah, but Chris Paul is terrible, though. Chris Paul was great back then. Chris Paul was at his peak back then. What the fuck you think they gonna do? Exactly. You gotta steal good Kobe Bryant and Chris Paul? Gee, we hooping. What the fuck? We're hooping. Mm, We're I hooping. I don't know about that. You know how I feel about Chris Paul. We, and wasn't Dan Tony coaching back then? Yeah, that would have been terrible. No, it wouldn't have been fucking amazing. What do you mean? Mm. Kobe, you take it. Chris Paul, you take it. Let's go. Yeah, but... Who gonna set screens, man? What I the fuck? Pow, set screens. I'm fucking with you. Bite him. Get your big ass out they here and set screens. They still would have screens. Pow? Yes. No, actually, no. They would no. trade it, Pow. Bring somebody in and set a goddamn screen. Exactly, G. no, G. And Bynum had Bynum was riding around I think LA Bynum at Lamborghini Park in handicap spots back then. <laughs> like, <laughs> for real, Bynum was riding around Hollywood and but no. in LA with blonde hair in a Lamborghini Park in handicap spots back but no, then. But no, like, no, they was not winning no finals. Even G. at Nash MVP, I think that Kobe might have won it that year if he didn't have that case two years prior. Like even like Nike, like the way his shoes, like his shoes aren't even like remember, remembering and revered the way that like people would. I mean, I never thought the Kobe's was that cold. I didn't either. I didn't think the LeBron's was that goddamn cold. The people love all them. The shoes. LeBron's weak though, huh? except for the last year. The LeBron's were kind of. weak. I feel you. Them. Most most of the Kobe's are kind of weak, but them shit don't even get retro. People didn't even know the man. Like Kobe didn't even have an actual signature shoe until like fucking oh six oh seven. I mean, most of these dudes got signature shoes that's weak, though. I mean, but yeah, um, Kobe. You rocking no, some Dames? Kobe, no, you rocking some Harden? Kobe, no, but Kobe didn't have the one. The only shoes you rocking is Kyrie. Look at me. Kobe didn't have one. That's because nobody liked him. No, yeah, because of that fucking thing. Nah, because, they didn't like him before. No, you got to remember, Kobe was very beloved before then, bro. 
Kobe went to Kobe went on prom with fucking Brandy. You win three rings. You by a pound, you basically the fucking next yeah, Michael everybody, Jordan. Everybody called him a weirdo. I'm sorry, but everybody still, called him a weirdo. I understand that, but people still fuck like the media fucked with Kobe Bryant. And then after that case happened, like it was Kobe was enemy number one. That case even today, remember like fucking um somebody said like oh why is Kobe on this basketball magazine with all these girls and he had that case. I remember like people tweeting that on Twitter. Oh, for real? Yeah, Damn, like that st- that shit still follows Kobe to this day. Like me, and- shout out my cousin Akila. Like I was like, nah, I don't really agree with you. I don't really agree with you. But then like just after observing how more people speak about Kobe, if Kobe never had that case, we would look at his career a lot differently because the media would have made us look at his career a lot differently. Same thing with Derrick Rose. Yeah, I think people, people, people. I think people wouldn't be calling him a borderline uh, MVP. People I mean, I'm would start borderline Hall of Famer because. You're not telling me somebody that was a most valuable player in the league at 21 years old is not one of the greatest players to ever play the basketball. I mean, and, play the people, game. and people would have been a more receptive to like this season. Like if that would have never happened and he goes out there and gets 60 points, that would have been heralded as like one of the greatest moments of this season. It was 50, but I feel you. It was 50, I thought it was 60. I thought it was 50. No, I think no, it's 60, 60, bro. Oh. I think it scored 60. I mean, we had the viral tweet. I don't know how much money. I, don't, I mean, I mean, not money. I don't know how many points. It was a lot of goddamn points. Yeah. Scored more points than scored his prime. Yeah. Like, if he... No, nah, no, nah, you're right. It was 50. It was 50. It was 50. It was still, 50. like, that would have been looked at. People was, like, talking about that case that night. Not even appreciating the game. It was like, oh, why are you, like, caring about this when he had that, you know, over his head? Like, people was talking about that that night. Stupid man, be smart, make smart decisions. Make, make, bro. make, make, yeah, literally make, make smart decisions. Yo, but, so what do you think about all of this? Um, did you okay? Did you hear about the, the okay the lawyer Michael Avenetti? I think that's his name. What, what um, about? he you didn't hear about all the stuff? I his name is Michael. I saw the name. But I didn't so basically, his name is Michael Avenetti. He basically he claims that uh, 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 that Nike funneled money to uh, athletes such as DeAndre Aiden. Um, Bowl Bowl and some and, and a bunch of other ones and basically he tried to extort Nike supposedly allegedly Nike funnel money he done it, yeah yeah he said that Nike funnel money through AAU coaches to people's parents um, um yeah but like basically he says there's a paper trail and he got arrested for basically trying to uh, allegedly blackmail Nike um and to give him twenty million dollars or he was gonna leak this info that all the time. so now he's leaking all of this info or or like making these allegations on Twitter uh. Yeah, it happens all the time, but it's not supposed to happen. I mean, yeah, but for one, if he did funnel money, they failed because Aiden signed with Puma now. And you went to a Nike school when you're probably going to a Nike AAU thing. So I don't know how somewhere in the thing leads you to sign with Puma. Yeah. And usually, like, that's how it goes. Like, all right, if, like, you know, you, like, see a guy, okay, you're at this Adidas basketball camp, right? So yeah. Because you're Adidas because you're the star. Your AAU team or your high school team will end up being sponsored by Adidas. And then because you were sponsored by Adidas, you go to this Adidas college. And then when you get out of college, you yes, but also the there are people. AAU coaches that are associated with with this yeah, stuff that are is. being that are also the whole um, shit is being dirty, called bro. The, yeah the whole like the whole fucking system the like the thought process that's why I like the G League thing it's kind of bad what what they do to these athletes especially these kids though I yeah. don't fuck with that man yes but it's like high school basketball and youth basketball and youth sports has become such a business these days that it's like hard to even keep it away. That's kind of weak, though. It's you, fucked up. You're using these kids. You are. Like, using people. And it more so, it's more so even, like, the parents. Like, the parents is looking at these 16-year-old kids. Yeah, like, like money bag. Yeah, like, money bag. Like, nah, that's your child. But still, like, this is, like, my way out. Like, this is also my way out. We can get $100,000 because you can hoop good at 16. And people are making decisions not even based off, like, what's the best basketball decision for my son? But, like, who got the most money? It's, for instance, like the Duke team. Why are them at Duke, G? Not even not look. This, I this mean, is, look at them. Not look. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. But look, this is not saying that like um, they took any money because I don't know. I have no, of no, course not. I, yeah, I, I have nothing. But like, for instance, wow, like I don't think now nah, Zion and RJ. All right, cool. But for a guy like Cam and some of the other guys, like you can't even like I don't think that's the best basketball decision for you to go to. As far as like, I disagree on, with that. I did, if I'm Coach K and I said we got Zion Williamson and RJ Barrett and but we want you to come and we're going to win a national your, championship. But, but G, you're not no, going to be able to work on your game. It don't matter. It, they, it does it's matter. the same shit that happens with Kentucky. Duke is just trying to build a Kentucky-like system. That's but in order you. for you to do that, you have to get a ton of athletes to come and want to play but, on but look, a super team. I feel you, but same time, I don't think that's the best thing for all those young guys. Willie Collins stein got the league, pit three like Kentucky, couldn't do shit. That's Willie Collins stein though. Think about all of the other players that came from Kentucky that was like Most of them don't have that much skill. Who have who have better who have better careers, Coach K players or Coach Calipari players? 
Calipari. Exactly. But, so, hold on, but, but, hold but on, look wait, at the wait, system. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, then no. That's because most recently, it was up until recently that Coach K wasn't getting those type of athletes. Calipari always went out and got the best athletes. That, but that's, that's what why. I'm. But that's also but, what I'm saying. Look, if I'm Coach K, I, I I'm doing you. a different philosophy. I'm coaching USA basketball. I know that nowadays you need athletes in order to win. I want to put together the best athletes. You know I know how to coach all the pros. If you stick with me, I do right by you. And it's Duke. It's a much more prestigious university and in we'll Kentucky. And we'll get you on, like, but again, I don't think, but again, I don't think that's And if you're Zion Williamson, you go to the league and you huff, but you win a, ch- a ring at Duke, feel, he going to be on TV and motherfucking wherever they at I forever, G. That. He going to be pudgy that. as hell looking like, what's fat folks from um, the, um, the play in the NFL? Are you talking um, about Booger, um, uh, uh, Booger, 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 Booger McFarlane, yeah. Booger McFarlane. Zion Williams is going to be looking like Booger, Booger McFarlane, McFarlane on, nah, on, on Duke TV in like I, 20 I know, years, G. I understand that for some of them, yes, but like for like for all these guys, like they aren't making the best decisions for their own basketball Same thing careers. with Kentucky dudes as well. I understand. Like, I don't it's think better all them for you to go to a small school like John Morant and ball out than it is for you to go to a big program. I agree. But but that's not what you in the business of doing now. You want to get your name out there. You trying to build your brand before you get to the league. But all but but also you don't have to go to a small like seal. You can even go to like the lesser like so, okay, like you don't want to go to Duke. Go to North Carolina State. Go like you can you you can still go to very prestigious schools, very schools with good basketball. Why would I want to do that when I can go to Duke and I can play with the best players? Because like you gotta you understand that these college kids are now looking like yo. We not we not might we might not be able to make money, but we can at least control who we want to play with. And if I see you out on the AAU circuit, or I know that you cold and I want to play with you, then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna play with you. The I same understand. way these NBA players are like, yo, if you cold and I want to play with you, I'm gonna find a way to get on your team and play with you because I, I don't want to be stuck that. in mediocrity. I understand that. Some well, guys for these young nah, guys nah, and bro, I'm and sorry, I can't agree with you. Guys and them for developing their basketball talent. Like, I think sometimes like, they don't always go to the best place that's best for them. I think if you can hoop, go, you can hoop. I think that sometimes they go where like. The money guides them to go. If you can hoop, you can hoop. I agree, but still, you can you hoop. You can hoop. With, I agree, but still, you want to work. You can on hoop. You can hoop. Else, you can hoop. You can hoop. Because even guys like Kawhi going from San Diego State, you know, what I'm saying, if you can hoop, you can hoop. You I gonna mean, rise. Yeah. If, if basketball and basketball athletes are like cream, they gonna always rise to the top. I understand. And that. sometimes it might be a little fat doughy motherfucker that that might be a dumpling in there, but usually they gonna all the cream is gonna always rise to the I mean to the top of the pot. But speaking of that. R.I.P. Big Ball of Brand, man. That shit hurt my heart, G. Man, Allen, G. I'm BBB forever, though, bro. G, like, I am, that, G. That, that, that shit, that man, hey, G. Man, G. I'm so but, glad I didn't get that tattooed on me. I was wild out there getting that tattooed. But, you know but what? But it was a moment in time, though. But, you know what? For one, I think the Big Ball of Brand merch would be worth crazy price. I'm mad I ain't getting none now. Oh, my God, G. I'm so mad I ain't getting none now. Because you never going to get any of it no more. I believe in Lonzo. Like, me, I still personally believe I still Lonzo. believe in Lonzo. I think that, like, just even with everything he's saying, like, I like his attitude right now. He's saying, my own man, I'm taking care. I'm taking control of my own career. If he's basically, to me, he's saying it like, look, if I fail and I'm not going to be, you know, worthy of my draft pick and be who I'm supposed to be, it's going to be because it was my fault. Yeah, not my dad, not nobody else. I'm gonna take it up on me. And I mean, especially if somebody still a one point five million. One point five dollars from me, like nah, this shit gonna all be my fault. So you know what? Cool, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get in the gym and I'm gonna go out there and get better. I think Lonzo Ball is gonna go and have a great career. Probably be most improved player next year. Maybe be an All Star next year. The year after, he's already famous. People already know his name. I mean, he already was getting All Star votes. votes. And again, I think that Big Baller Brand merch will be like. I think that'll be like fucking like the stuff of legends. In like 15 years, you're gonna look back like, man, bro, you got that big ball of brand tee. Like, it'll be retro for like fucking $500 a shirt. No, without retro, but like put up on like, you know, like, like he still owns a company, unless they dissolve the company, which I don't think they will, but still, supposedly he owned like 51% of the trademarks or whatever. So, so even then, all you gotta do is get cold. I guarantee you that big ball of brand is gonna pop up again. Yeah. All you gotta do is should. get cold. Um, but yeah, man, that's fucked up, man. Somebody fucked up, yeah. Like, a whole one point five million. I really hope that like Lavar just. I don't think. I hope that it was just he was negligent with um signing with like, with, with um with, with you know bringing bro along. I, I hope that he didn't do anything else. What you mean? Like allegedly, they all deleted pictures of them with like their dad. Deleted pictures of them with everybody. Deleted everything they had to do. I guess Lonzo, Lonzo and his brother deleted everything. I mean, yeah, they probably just mad. Cause it's like you put our name on this and you ruined our careers for for, you, for us to build this and then this motherfucker went and stole all and stole lines on money. That's fucked I mean, up. But even still, with like Lamelo, like what does like you know they like, even they TV shows like the reason why things fell apart also is because of expenses connected with the TV show. So even if you Lamelo, even if you Leangelo, that's the way I was getting famous. I can't even get famous off that shit no more because the dude fucked it up. 
So all of our business is fucked up. All our business is fucked, fucked up. up. And even he, like Lamelo, his high school career is fucked up. Like I don't, I don't know. No, it's not. Spire, he gonna be all right. No, but like I think he graduated this year. He's not ranked. They didn't rank him. I don't think. I think they re-ranked him. But then like when they did the actual classifications for like this year, I don't think he was ranked. It don't matter. He gonna go to some school like and, and go crazy. Like, tell, I don't know. Tell Lamelo Ball to go to the NC State. Tell me NC no, State don't but, want Lamelo no, Ball. No, but no, the thing is like I don't know if he's ruined his college. Um, no, he hasn't. Eligible. He's still eligible. That's why he went to Spire or whatever the name of that school is. He is? Yes, he's, college. Still, he's college. still college eligible. He never took any money off of it, off of what he was making. It was all going to like the family or whatever. Okay, but now he did have his own shoe though. Huh? I but like I think some of that like like he might have forfeited his. No, that's why he went back to school. That's why he went back to high school. Okay. He went back to high school so that way he can go and, and be college eligible. Okay. He's gonna go to somebody's shitty school. And average fucking 35, no, 10, and fucking numbers. 8. And, and somebody's numbers. gonna draft him number one. Godly numbers, bro. Godly all he gotta do is just stay out of trouble and he'll be alright. I mean, even, even like as a prospect, like I like him. He just needs to get stronger and like realize what he can do with his body more. Because I think it's what, 6'7, six, 6'8. Seven, six, yeah, he's 6'7 six, six, seven now. now. Yeah, he's like, get he's 6'7 six, seven now to me with better handles than Lonzo. Way better handles than Lonzo. And he's a better, way better scorer than Lonzo. And I think that if he wanted to, he could probably get you eight rebounds a game. I think that Lonzo was a better basketball player, but like Lamelo has more it factor. Lamelo has a chance to be a Kobe Bryant type to me. I'm not even joking. I would say Lamelo has a chance to be like a better Kyrie Irving, or like what John Wall was supposed. He's to too be. tall for that, man. He's I, he's not playing. He's not playing point guard he's in the league. Point guard. No, he's not. Yes, he he's playing shooting guard no, in the he's league. Playing point guard. He's gonna play the two. No, he's playing point no, guard. No, he's gonna play the two. He's gonna play the if two. Devin Booker's playing point guard. Or no, no, no. Guard. He's gonna play the two. Well, you wanna know why? Because he's gonna grow another fucking inch or two, and he's gonna be fucking six nine. And they are gonna be like, damn, we're not gonna put him at point guard. Even Giannis, you gotta realize, like, yo, we can't just fucking run you at ben the Simmons point. Is point guard. Huh? Ben Simmons is a point guard. Yeah, Ben Simmons is a point guard. Yeah, but ben, but but I think Lamelo. But I don't think Lamelo is going. I think Lamelo want to shoot. And also, what the Lamelo want to shoot? And also, like these days, what the fuck is a point guard? I think these days you just put your best ball handler and like, yo, your best ball handler and your best playmaker be like, yo, you handle the ball. I disagree with that because Devin Book. I mean, Donovan Mitchell's not the point guard and he's the best ball handler. I mean, but no, I, you I mean, need a point hold, guard. Yeah, There's but, a reason but, for a but, point guard. But, Dame Lillard's still a point guard. CJ to me is a better ball handler than Dame. I disagree. Dame with is that. a better. Dame is a better shooter. Better off the dribble. Better in the mid range. Better at getting to the rim. Better, better finishing through. Though. Huh? I said you put your best playmaker and ball handler. He's not a better play. CJ's not nowhere near the playmaker that Dame is. Handler maybe, but playmaker no. Yeah, I'm not upset at that. And I think that Donovan Mitchell eventually will take over the point guard roles in um, Utah. Just like you still have Rudy. I don't know if I want Ricky. Donovan Mitchell at point guard. He already need 30 shots to get 20 points. He don't need 30 shots. Why to get do I need to give him the it's ball? Just, it's just that's his role on this team. It's like we have no other scorer besides you. Put, so you can't work. What's Donovan Mitchell efficient. averaging on the Warriors if he did instead of Clay? 20. Just 20. He not having 20. He'll get 20. He's probably having like 17. You're wild. He'll get 20. He's having like 17. You're wild. He'll get 20. He's having like 17. He'll get 20 and he'll have some insane highlight lob every damn night. Tell I, me I'm lying, G. I'm not a... They get in transition. The, the lob like, highlight, I'm not mad at, but the 20, I He'll get you 20 points, G. You act like he can't shoot. He'll, 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 he'll get you 20 points. Mm-hmm. They'll do that little stagger shit. And when Steph go to the bench, he'll be like, hey, do your shit now. I don't and Boogie be out there. I don't screens. know if second year Donovan Mitchell is getting twenty on the Warriors. He'll get I'm sorry. twenty. I'm sorry. Um, how much is Jetty averaging right now on the Warriors? Yeah. If he starts? No, I'm talking about right now. Thirteen point two. I lost that. Enough. Yeah. Where's my do say? I got you. Yeah. Chris Middleton, I need you to come out and hoop, G. That's not happening. You I gonna, need you, you to average this twenty five, G. Well say that even if you don't, look, 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 look. I don't even care if the Bucks lose in the first round. As long He's as Middleton average 25, 25, G. If Middleton average 25, G, and they lose in the first round, I don't care. Give me my douce, G. I don't care. So you already won in the hole. You're going to be two in the hole. Like I said, Middleton, he crossed that man off the screen, G. And he, and he, he never and came he, back to the ball, G. That man started rebounding, G. <laughs> Chris Paul, yo, that crossover is still nasty, dog. That shit was hilarious. Yeah, Give me that shit. I'm like, God damn. Yeah. Can we talk about this game, bro? Like, both of them was very underwhelming. Yeah, but Giannis is still the MVP. No, it's not as yes. hard. God damn, Giannis that is happened. Still the MVP. No, it's hard. Yeah, it happened, and then Giannis the Pistons came back and lost that game on some goofy stuff. Yeah. Giannis, Giannis not having the thirty six points, bro. Harden is having a good. Harden is having a very very good year. 
Um, what did the G? Did you see the set? It's like the last forty years, three people to do what he doing. Not Mike, it. Kobe, and him. Yeah. You, you want to say good year? You he's know, having he's a really, great? really no. He's having a really really good year. I think he's having a really, God really good damn, year. God damn, that happened. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but damn. I but I don't think he's having a better year than Giannis. Oh, Giannis God. is Giannis is the best defensive player in the NBA to me. He he's probably gonna win defensive. He's probably gonna win defensive player of the year this year. And if he wins defensive player of the year, he deserves MVP because he's still putting up the points that he's putting up. He's still giving you 12 a game, and he's still giving you six assists. David Griffin had a good point. He was like, why don't we have an offensive player of the year? Why do we need an offensive player of the year? I mean, because like, some more victory of the year, offensive player of the year, nah, it's weak. Nah, what's weak? That's not really That's football weak. week. It ain't that many people on the team, G. Stop that. Mean? They do it in football because it's like 80 of the motherfuckers on the team. Nah, but you, you could have a guy who's like incredible offensively, but he's just not like the MVP because he don't play no goddamn defense. No. For instance, like last year, right, LeBron might have won the offensive MVP, but Harden would have like the offensive player of the year, but Harden would have won MVP. Mm, LeBron won offensive MVP to me, though. Gee, they traded this man whole team midseason. He stayed no, out there and kept James moving. Harden was still offensive MVP to me. The, gee, they traded this man team. Half the team, half mid season. This man stayed out there and kept hooping. I don't care. All right, bro. I can use the same excuse for Harden this year in terms of people getting injured. But that's still, why I said I got him as MVP. Scoring, but he's but he's not. I, he's not I actually MVP. think Harden's MVP last year was a lifetime achievement award. He's not the MVP. You want to know why? Because Harden's second and third best player to me are better than the Bucks second and third. I best disagree player. with you. Middleton is not better than Capella. Capella is just in a in a conference where it's much much harder for him so to be. So Chris Paul is better than I mean is is yes Chris you Paul think he is what is better than Middleton and Bledsoe. Uh, you no, but I think Clint Capella is better than Middleton. I disagree with and you. And I think Chris Paul is better than Bledsoe, but not better than Middleton. I disagree with you. I think that Chris so Paul. I, so still, so still, the Rockets to me got, got, I mean, got three of the best five players. I disagree with you. I think that Capella is helped. I, th- I, I think that. If Capella wasn't playing with CP3, I think that Capella playing with CP3 and Chris Paul would with, with, with uh, CP3 and, and Eric Harden. Gordon still exists. Air and Eric Gordon, I mean, yeah, Eric LeBron Gordon better than Eric Gordon, season, Ble- Eric Gordon better than Bledsoe to me. Brogdon now they having a 50 40 90 season. G. Eric Gordon better than Brogdon to me. Having, I disagree with you. Eric Gordon is better I than Brogdon. I, I, I disagree I'm with you. I'm fine with you. Brogdon to give me 13. No, I'm cool on that. Yeah, but it's 50 40 90, and he's a very very good defensive player. I'm fine with that, but give me Eric Gordon. I disagree I'm with you. I'm taking Eric Brogdon. Gordon. Give me nah, Brogdon. No, nah, literally, the, the 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 Rockets have a better team. The Rockets have you. the Rockets have a better. I team. I think the Rockets have a better. Look, the Rockets have a better team. Beyond the better player. The issue is they haven't been there half the year. If they were there, have the out of reach, like bro, but like they got hurt, and they went fourteen spot, and Chris Paul was going. You say for, like, half a year, G it was only like seventeen games. That's fucking half of the day. No, 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 it wasn't. Chris Paul was out way more than seventeen games, bro. And then I'm EG was missing about time Chris in Paul. there. About... Capella was out for like fucking six weeks. Yeah, he wow, they hands. was like yeah, Chris Paul, huh? Wow, so they what? was like the fucking thirteen. Like he, okay, he he belongs in the conversation. He's not the MVP. You want to know how I know he's not the MVP? How? Because he having other people show up to the to the to the I mean to the games with shirts saying I'm with the MVP. That's when he lost the MVP to me. I disagree with that. That's I, weak. No, nah, fuck That's that. Weak. Nah, fuck that. That's campaign. Weak. Campaign. That's I campaign weak. too. Fuck that. That's I'm weak. the MVP. Y'all that said he was the MVP on he, the court. On the court. On the court. He didn't have his friend fuck that. show up with a shirt show that says shirt. I'm with the MVP. Give me this goddamn award. His friend holding his shoes so that everybody can see how he's getting, getting his kicks off with his shirt. Give me this goddamn gonna... award. No. I'll do the same shit. He's not the MVP. If I was a motherfucking hooper like that and we was on the same team, I would hope you would goddamn say I'm, I'm not I'm, doing that shit. That shit weak. Why? That I do shit it for you. That this shit. nigga the MVP. That's why Give, you not the real MVP. I don't the real MVP. That shit weak. Don't do, I'm not doing that shit for you. I'm with the yeah, MVP. MVP. I wish you would have. You know Harden gave that man that shirt. <laughs> I wish you would fucking give me that goddamn shirt. Fuck out of here. That's the day we have our first physical fight. Fuck out of my face with this goddamn shirt. You know Harden gave this shirt like, hey, man, you mind wearing this shirt during the game? We playing the Bucks. So like, I got a design. This karma, it's Karma Day Garcon. Some shit underneath the bottom. Can you get a fit out? Yeah, can you get a fit out? Can you wear this shirt? Can you wear this shirt? Bro, bro we going to be on national TV. national TV. They going to see you And PJ was like, right PJ was like, fuck it, I got you. Yeah, I got you, bro. He's like, fuck it, I might become a meme. He's like, fuck it, I might be a meme, G. Come on, G. Come on, G. This man go out. Come on, G. Harder, we see you. I see you. Get out of here. You're not the MVP. That's when he lost that shit. That when you did that is when you lost me. 
But anyways, man, it's been happy hour. It's your boy TPJ. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, real TPJ. That's R E L T P J. This weekend we have two uh, YouTubers on. We having a homie K Moore as well as a homie Tut Weezy. Make sure you go follow them on YouTube. That's gonna be nice and hilarious on Sunday. Um, and we also cover two Clippers games this week, um, back to back, the Cavs as well as um, versus the Grizzlies. So that means I'll be covering my first game Sunday night. We hoping we apply for those Clippers playoff tickets. We'll let you guys know if we get it, if we'll be covering the team. Hopefully, we'll see. But also, it's kind of matchup dependent. If they play the Warriors, yeah, I'm interviewing Steph. I'm going to be waiting in that hallway like a groupie. Like, hey, Steph, I need to holler at you, fam. I need you to see this tweet. And I'm going to show him your line. Literally, I just want to get Steph Curry on video reading your Alonzo Ball tweet. That is going to make the internet explode. Probably, I need, uh, no, look, I guarantee he's going to look at it and be like, He's going to look at that no. shit and be like, neck ass out of nah, here. No, no, no. He'll like probably say no, but I understand what he's saying. He gonna be like no, but get his noodle neck. I'm gonna nah, like, no, 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 be, like, be like Steph. Can I? I'm be like Steph. Can I ask you two questions? I'm like number one, how does it feel to be only behind Magic Johnson? And then he gonna laugh like, oh, I would never say that. I'm not gonna disrespect the game. Blah blah blah. Thank you for being <laughs> Steph Curry, cause that's why we respect you, Steph Curry, cause you're a historian of the game. We all know you're lying. You're number two. My number two question, can you please just read this tweet and tell me your first reaction? Because this tweet has Warrior, has Dub Nation in a frenzy. And he going to read that shit. Four years. And I'll be like, and, be like, and then he going to look, he going to hand me that phone back and walk away. And I'll be like, that's all you need to see, G. That's it, G. Dub Nation, yeah, I got y'all. So, uh, but, but we're going to see. But yeah, it's your boy TBJ. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, real TBJ. It's R E L T B J. We'll be back Sunday. Hoops and Brews. Pavi, go ahead and get your plug always, in. man. Follow me on Twitter at Pavi World. P A V Y World, all one word. www.whoispavi.com. Roller Deck City out right now. Paverse Volume 1 out right now. Yeah, man. Any final thoughts? God bless Nerd. What's the name? Yeah, what's the name of this uh, episode? God bless Nerd. No, nah, no. Nah, the name of this episode is either going to be uh, Kyrie saying, Help me with him, like, drowning with a fucking life raft. It's going to be Kimba better than AI. I'm going to put AI face on Tyron Lue. And I'm going to put Kimba on, on, on AI. It's going to be Luka Doncic is, is better than LeBron James. Luka dunking on LeBron James. Or oh, Actually, I think I might get Luka point and put him in there instead of him. probably do Luka because everybody like, like Luka's name is searched. Like, I don't care about Luka's name being searched. Fuck that search. Which one, dude? What, which one? Which I mean, one is the funniest? The funniest one is the Kimba AI one. That's just fucking hilarious. Fuck it. That's the name of this. It's fucking Kimber Kim, better than Kimber Walker is better than Allen Iverson. Look, man, Kimber, G. See, I'm hella tagging Kimber AI. G. I'm, I'm hella tagging AI on Kimber, Instagram. G, I get you. AI gonna be like, all right. AI yeah, ain't gonna be like hell no, nah, boy. Bro, Kimber, get your nah, 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 bro. Kimba G, I need you to save yourself again, bro. Save yourself, Kimba. Your greatest highlight should not be you rocking the man in the garden in college. G. And you wanna know why it's like that? Cause they sent you out there with Dwayne Bacon as your starters. You deserve better. You Kimba Walker, save yourself this offseason. Don't let Mike pull up with some goddamn Concord Jordan Elevens. <laughs> To the goddamn thing in a fucking team color. Kimba, you ever wanted your own stage. shoe? Don't don't let that man do that. Kimba, you ever wanted your own shoe? Gee, he, gee, and, I, and I'm gonna give you a super backs in like four gee, years. Gee, he ain't even give you your own shoe and you play for the man, G. I mean, he yeah, gave we got a shoe. We, Chris Paul got a shoe. I mean, it was Chris Paul. You can't get Kimba a shoe. Kim, Chris Paul was better than Kimba to me. I understand that, but you can't give Kimba a shoe. I don't even like Kimba. I mean, I don't even like Kimba. You can't give Chris Paul a shoe. You can't give Chris Paul a shoe. I mean, Chris Paul. Not personally, I don't like them on the court. You can't give Chris Paul a shoe. Although Kimba, you've been hooping lately. You can't give fucking Kimba a shoe. Yeah, you better wear one of these retros. (laughs) There you go. I got you all colors. What colors you want? I got hella retros for you, Kimba. I give you whatever colors. You get all the scoops of shit. I'll make them make you the shit at the factory. Nah, the funny shit with Nuggethead Podcast, he said, he's like, man, like, I got like all the Jordans, like all the colors. Like, I got like every color of Jordans. Exactly. Like, exactly. I can go get any Jordans. Exactly. There you go. You want your own shoe? Don't I got all of them. Don't let this man lure you with them goddamn Jordans, Kimba. Save yourself and become what you're supposed to be, Kimba, walking this offseason. All right. We can get out of here, though. All right.